Welcome back to my channel guys. It is your girl Coco. Welcome back to another vlog. Spend the day with me. I'm going to be just cleaning up in the home. Not so much like thorough cleaning because I did that a couple of weeks ago. But I got some stuff back from the dry cleaners that I want to put away. And I'm going to go make some breakfast and bring you guys along with me. Put some laundry away that I was being lazy about. And then I have to do a few things outside. I wanted to go to Alice and Olivia just to see what they have. For those of you girls who are six feet, I want to say six feet max, uh, they do carry pants and jeans that go up to a 34 inch inseam. Sometimes you'll get lucky, they have 36s. They also have an in store tailor. So if you are shorter than that and the pants are too long, you can definitely get them tailored there. That's something that I would do if I owned a boutique. Reason being is you can get more customers if you cater to everyone and just have someone alter. Or you would get something like short or petite, average, and then tall. Just get everybody in there. But you guys already know my struggle with that. But I'm going to make some breakfast right now. I'm just sitting here. I'm probably just going to sit for a second before I go downstairs and bring you guys with me. So I don't know for breakfast. I'm probably going to make 
maybe some oatmeal. Something quick. I have some avocado, so I can possibly make avocado toast. Not too sure yet. Speak of toast, I do not have a toaster, guys. I need a toaster. Like, I threw my toaster out. I wanted to get the Smegs one. Maybe I'll go get that today. I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more research. If I do get it, I'll bring you guys with me. I heard that it's a really nice toaster, but I don't know, like, if it's really worth the money. I'm going to see. <laughs> if I decide to get it, I'm definitely going to bring you guys with me. Bring my vlogging camera. I'm still looking for a chart, like a vlogging kit for my car. The one that I had was just a no-go for me. I need something for my camera. If any of you ladies know any YouTuber ha who has a really good car setup, please tag them. Um, maybe point me to their Amazon store or something. That would be so appreciative. I'm going to go make some breakfast, guys, and I'll catch you in the kitchen. some breakfast. I think I'm just going to make some oatmeal. I think. Let me see. I want to make this kind of quick because I want to get outside. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do oatmeal. Or maybe my kamut. Not too sure. Maybe I should just eat some cereal. I think I'm just going to eat cereal. I haven't had cereal in a while. So, let me show you guys. <clears throat> so, I like puffs. Puffs. Kamut puffs. These are Kamut grain made into a cereal. So, can you guys see? It literally looks like honey snacks. It just doesn't have like that sugar stuff on it, but I think I'm going to make this. And I think I am going to go get a toaster. I'm just going to see where they have them because I, I need a toaster. I'm losing it over here. Like I haven't had one in months since I threw the other one out and I've been sticking my spelt bread and other bread inside of the oven, like my rye bread. So let's do that. Let's make that. And then we're gonna make some milk. So for those of you ladies who don't know, I am a plant-based vegan, and I usually make my milk with walnuts and hemp seeds. Walnuts, hemp seeds, and a little bit of agave. This, this thing is so trash. <laughs> And then I just kind of make me some cereal. It's just keeping it all the way real with you guys. But I am going to sit here and write in my book as I'm eating and get my day started. So after I finish eating, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to bring you guys in the closet. And I'm going to put the rest of my dry cleaners away and probably vacuum again. Uh, it's just been really dusty in here. I don't know why. So I'm going to vacuum. I'm probably going to change my filter. I'm so scared to go upstairs, but change my filter and stuff. Um, or I may wait because I think they're coming to do a check next week. So I may just wait. Just vacuum, put the stuff away. Maybe move some stuff around in my closet. Uh, fall is quickly approaching. I need to get all my sweaters together. I really want to change my IKEA packs and get the tallest one. I've been saying this for a long time now. 
and I just need to figure out what I want in here because I want to make sure that I'm getting enough space for my shoes and my boots and I also want to make sure that I'm not covering my windows anymore because I need the light in there as opposed to using like a ring light or something it's so much better to just go ahead and use um natural lighting so I'm gonna write in my 369 book for the morning and bring you guys upstairs and then that's it just watch a little tv for a little while um before well while I'm eating and then go upstairs so I will catch you guys in a second once I get into the closet and kind of pull out my stuff for this fall <laughs> guys so i'm back upstairs in my closet um still have on my pajamas once i get ready to go out i'll actually kind of chat with you guys about that but i'm just gonna be in my closet pulling out some stuff for the stuff that i got from the dry cleaners and yeah this is you guys already know i love going to the dry cleaners and taking my white tops and satin pants and stuff so I'm just going to be putting this stuff away right now and just kind of like cleaning up in here. I may have to vacuum a little bit, but I'm still looking for a nice rug for in here. Guys, I keep saying this. I really want to get the highest ones because I feel like I can get a lot more in and probably stick these on the others. I don't know. Maybe back in the other room uh, or maybe give them away because I do have all of these shelves and stuff that i'm gonna continue to use uh, i just know that once i get the highest one this shelf will be probably here this will be actually the shelf will probably be higher my things will be back here i will have more space at the bottom i, I didn't think it would fit but also at the time of buying this this is when covid hit and child there was nothing available so, this is the stuff that I like to put in the dry cleaners, t-shirts and stuff. And it keeps my stuff extremely white. So, let me just grab some of this stuff and get it off the hanger. No wire hangers, ladies. So, I have to take all this out. So, I'm usually, I usually put these on my little rack here. Let's slide this over. On my little pullout rack I got a ton of stuff <sighs> and then my t-shirt here just taking it off remember I was telling you guys about going to the dry cleaners and how sometimes they don't clean your stuff they clean this I could literally smell it and I'll show you guys what they didn't clean because I, <laughs> I checked it the other day but check your stuff because they won't clean them if they don't if they don't see a stain if they don't see a stain they're not gonna clean it they're just gonna steam it which is probably fine however if you were outside all day for those of you who know you know Smell like outside is not a good thing. Okay, you smell like old pennies. It stank. So, let's just put some of this stuff away. I don't know, but I really want to just change my closet. These are these are from where are these from? Chad, these are from misguided. You can't even see. These are so long. These pants, they're really nice actually. And I just kind of 
put everything away. And also, here's something else that you should take to them. Definitely take your white stuff. And I'm saying that because I know that if they don't see this thing, maybe they're not going to clean it. They're not. Unless you say like, hey, this is a stain on here. So, let me see. I wore this. They did do this one. <laughs> and this is my Aritzia top. And this is the other Aritzia top. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up. They are the same top, but the white one is smaller. I don't think my new dry cleaners did it. I think the old one shrunk it somehow. <laughs> um, and then this is from Zara. My Zara Boosty. They put pins in it, which is kind of annoying sometimes. They should have those clips. Um, but my stuff remains really, really light. I mean, well, clean and just in good condition actually so i'm gonna go through this stuff here probably breeze through this part so you guys are not seeing all of this yep love it clean 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 And I just kind of, this is not the right hanger for this, <laughs> but I still use it. And I have some stuff that I cleaned recently, wash, washing wise. Okay. And let's just get all this on here. So I want to start doing vlogs more. Now, I do not have a huge following uh, subscriber list, but I want to just start doing vlogs. Hold on, guys. That is my phone ringing. Hello? Hello? That was my friend and her nana may be transitioning her grandma may be transitioning um well they said that she is but she's like 98 you know and you know life life is life is crazy it's interesting but she's 98 and um you know she doesn't sound like she's she's sad of course but you know, she knows that she's done a ton for her, her grandmother. I think that's important. Like, when someone is sick or old and, you know, you usually can tell who didn't do right by someone when they pass away. Because they really take it hard. Um, uh-oh. Hold on, guys. They really take it hard. And it's not to say that... You won't take it hard if you were there for a person, but usually it's like the guilt kicks in. And, um, okay, so I hang these on the wood hangers on the other side. This is why I'm trying to tell y'all I need some more space in my closets. If I had the other thing, I would be able to hang <laughs> more stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's really sad. But you know, it's a part of life. Um, you know, people have to pass on and transition and stuff. But I lost my grandmother very young. And I was just explaining to her that my Nana was old when she passed away. So I always, okay, so really quick for those of you guys who are just tuning into my channel, I am Coco. Make sure you are subscribing to my channel. Uh, but my grandmother and mother and auntie passed away from breast cancer. But my grandmother's sisters, one passed, but not from breast cancer. So I always wondered what happened to that 
set of women. Because my aunts, from my, my grandmother's sisters, they didn't have any issues. So, for me, knowing that my Nana lived to like a hundred and something, I'm like, we, we have long life in the family. I feel like everyone does. You know, you pick up habits from your parents and stuff, you eat like them. When they say things are genetic, I'm like, look, you just do what your parents did pretty much, right? And you break the cycle when you move out or you get older or whatever. Um, even when it comes to like drinking and smoking, like you may see it growing up. You could either do what they did or do the opposite, right? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I got so much stuff. I think I took 14 pieces. I try to keep a ton of hangers in here. Child, my battery done died. Okay. <laughs> Y'all already know how. <laughs> Let's move you guys over just a smidge. Y'all already know how the battery goes with these Canon. Canon cameras. But yeah, so long life is in our family. We just have to just like really be cautious on what we're doing as far as to our bodies and stuff. Now accidents are totally different. But to try to be preventative is something that we all can do. But let me finish this, guys, before I get ready to go outside. I need more space so I can hang my stuff. And I might get rid of these drawers, some of the drawers on one of these sides because it just has like, and move them to a new pack when I get the new one. I just need to carefully map everything out because of my shoes and stuff. I don't have a ton, but I have some stuff that's like, not in boxes. I'll show you guys what I bought too. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't know, I'm thinking like, get it all going around. I don't wanna cover my window anymore. I just feel like, unless I put like a little curtain and open up that thing, but it's like covering the, it's not covering it all the way. But enough to where it's taking some of the sunlight out. Uh, let me see. I have a ton of white button up shirts. <laughs> because they are needed, guys. <laughs> they're needed, they're needed, they're needed. So all of that is done. I'm going to go grab some other stuff that I need to put. This is what I'm saying. This is like, I need to fix this because 
my my jackets are like in between here this can be a little bit lower uh yeah so let me go grab my other stuff all right so i washed some jeans i was gonna take them to the tailor but i decided not to i just washed them on cold so i'm gonna put some of that stuff away i have some satin pants i usually put these in the dry cleaners too but i just wash these on delicate doesn't shrink them or anything they pretty much stay the same now let's pull some of this out let's pull i'm gonna show you guys my little sneakers that i purchased i don't know if i showed you but i don't think so all right that's the only thing that goes over there yeah all right some shorts let me show you guys how i hang my jeans so here's a good way to hang your jeans if you have like an awkward space so They're like this like if you don't have a pants rack or any more space on your pants rack and you just kind of you wrap it back in here and it literally like sits it sits like this and it's short <laughs> you can just stick it anywhere that's a short place and it just sits down there I'll show you guys when I'm done and these are my Zara pants these tags in Zara be so big so you do them like this do that again and then you just you kind of grab a hook is this the right side I think I did it wrong oh no I didn't you grab a hook usually the hooks are like side by side And it's like nice and neat and then you just hang it up <laughs> hang it up and it looks really neat in here all right and then my, I, let me tell you, this is the Zara Bustier. I washed it purposely instead of putting it in the dry cleaners because it was kind of big on me. So I wanted to like shrink it a bit. And sometimes I actually have to put a pin on this. Let me do that. Because it's still kind of big at the top. So I'll just like put like a little pin. And then that way it's not like falling off the hanger. And then I do the other side just kind of clip them together the closet I sent you <laughs> would be safety pins all right all right ow all right so let me just go ahead and finish this and 
start getting ready for outside. I got this from Kaz. And it's kind of like a cape for the bottom. I don't even know what they call it. But it's very cute. You can you pretty much would wear it over anything. Like pants, even another skirt or something. It has splits and then it has like these holes right here where it would definitely go for pockets that you have on the other item. I got this. It's very nice. They say it's wool, but honey, the new wool ain't woolen. Okay. But it's super cute. It's long. I can't wait to wear it. So I purchased some Sambas in black, white and black. And I also got them in red white and red I might throw these on today so I got them in white and red and then I also got them in white and black and these are size eight and a half in men I wore them the other day the white and black ones they were fine they weren't like uncomfortable or anything like that so that was my concern. But I got both pair of those. And that's pretty much it with that skirt situation. Now I need to find a place to put these because I don't have a ton of space, but I could slide them in. Oh, I think I have an idea. I do, but anyway, I don't like to buy a bunch of stuff and not have space for it. I like everything to be in order. definitely getting ready for the fall I have my sweaters out already but I need to see which other sweaters I actually need so my hats are out I'm gonna vacuum and get ready So the Smeg Toaster, I'll show you guys here. They have they're 269 guys. So they have one that's 199, it's two slice, the one that's four slice. I need a toaster. 200 is that's crazy. Now it's not a bad thing if you are into like toasters. Um they have a chrome one, they have a black one. Then this one here that shows the Smeg. This is the four slice one. This one is pretty cool because instead now the reviews is not that great. So let's think about that. 
but they have a ton of colors like a ton of colors they have white blue black red like a pink like a cream color green tons of colors guys so i am heading out to go to co <laughs> stop <laughs> i'm heading out hey guys so i'm headed out i'm going to cos that's my friend she's crazy i'm going to i think i'm gonna go to zara too and i'm actually gonna go and see if i can get a toaster you guys this way i have on my og sambas some zara jeans this is i think it's actually a zara t-shirt my blank NYC crop blazer that I got cropped, my Gucci bag, and my, I think her name is Arliss headband. Simple accessories, but catch you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm in my car. I'm getting ready to drive off and go to the mall. I'm gonna go to Zara first and see if they have some t-shirts. I need some basic t-shirts, and then I'm gonna go to Cos, and I'm gonna go to Ikea, and I'm not staying out long, guys. Really, I'm not. I gotta do some editing for a vlog for you ladies and gentlemen and that's it my day is kind of pretty much done after that uh but i will catch you guys at zara and see what they have hopefully they have some really cute things that's gonna fit my tall frame i'm still gonna try to go to alice and olivia it is pretty late i got a late start but we shall see and i will catch you guys later bye let me come this way now Ah, these is not bad, but these pockets is a little, because they men's. These are kind of cute. Now, I would wear these in another color. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just came out of the mall. Zara had nothing. Well, they had stuff, but I didn't get it. Okay. I'm, that's my friend, she's talking back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about going to Cos, but I am tired. I need a toaster. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, I don't know. I'm literally like roaming the streets today, but I want a toaster, because I don't have one. And I need a t-shirt, like a white, nice t-shirt. So I'm thinking about Cos. <sighs> I guess I could go to Cos and then go to, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But whenever I get there, guys, I'm gonna bring you guys in with me. I did try on some stuff at Zara, some pants. They're men's pants, they actually fit really nice. They're just a little high waters, but I think that's the style of them. And they had like this nice trench, hoodie type of jacket but the sleeves is too small so tall girl struggles shopping at regular brands it's no joke guys but anyway i'll catch you guys later
back from Best Buy. And one thing I'm going to say is, I do not like rude ass people. I don't like when people feel like they don't want to help. So the little boy in there, the first guy was really helpful, right? The second guy, because I was looking at something else, he, like I asked him for a charger for like the magnetic charger for the cell phones in the car. And he was like, oh, it's over there on the other side. And I think my face must have said it all because he quickly walked his little ass around and showed me. But if you don't want to help people, don't work at a store like that. Take your ASS on, like go on about your business. But the, you know, the thing about it is that people, I know people be having bad days and stuff. Don't go to work, straight up. Like don't go to work. And he was, he was two seconds away from me saying, you don't have to help. But I think my face said it all. And I think he realized that I, I, I caught onto his energy not wanting to help. But anyway, I was looking for a mount for my camera so I can vlog in my car again. And I'm not finding anything. They have these magnetic ones. I don't like them. I think they are very... I don't know. I just feel like the ones that I have, they don't work. And they're sitting in the back of my car. I don't like the suction cup. They don't stay up. So again, I'm going to ask again if you girlies know any other YouTubers that actually vlog in their car, let me know what mount they use. I have the Canon D7X for my vlogging. Um, that's the only thing I use in my car. I could use my phone, but I can't see myself. So that's a whole other thing. But let me know. I'm going to probably, I'm still looking for my toaster. I haven't gone to the other side of my town yet. It is 6.37, so time is ticking. Maybe I will, mm, if I head to Alpharetta, it's going to take me a minute to come back. Maybe I'll just do that. Head to Alpharetta and go ahead and get the toaster. Possibly. I think I'm going to do that. But this was me all day today, guys. I went into Zara. Didn't see anything much. I told you guys that. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and head to Alpharetta. Let me check right now and see how far. So I wanted to get the Smegs toaster. Now, people was having some bad reviews about it. I don't want to get it and then that crap breaks on me in like three months because I will take it back with no problem. Let me see. So the Smegs is the four one? Crate and Barrel. The Crate and Barrel. Neiman Marcus has the two, the two toaster. My bread is pretty big, so I wanted the four toaster one. Bloomingdale's has it. Let me see. Bloomingdale's may have it in the store. Uh, but they only have the two slice one. Yeah, they don't have the four slice. It's only because the bread that I use, it's like long. Oh, well, I'll, I'll see you guys when I get back home. So whatever I get, I'm going to show you guys. I didn't even get to go to cost because time is ticking. And right now I'm just like, I'm just a little tired, so... I don't know. I will try to see if I can get the toaster today and show you guys that. And then kind of recap with you guys for the night and end this vlog for you guys once I get home. So I will catch you guys later. guys so I am back in the house and to be quite honest I bought absolutely nothing the traffic in Atlanta was so terrible today like horrible let me grab this and put you guys here it was absolutely horrible like very very bad I got off the highway to try to get like on a road where it was less trafficked trafficked traffic hold on and that didn't that didn't pan out like at all 
it just was like really bad so it took me like 45 minutes to get home i was on my way to another area to pick up the toaster and i was just like i'm not even gonna make it with all this traffic so i just ended up just coming home so right now i'm gonna go down eat some food and just take it down for the night but thank you guys for tuning into today today's vlog with spend the day with me and i'm going to just put my stuff away so recap i did end up going to zara nothing in there they had a few pants that i liked in the men's section but they were a little high water high waters on me but i think that was the style of them and then also um they had a t-shirt that i was gonna get but i felt like it did look like a men's t-shirt as opposed to just a woman's nice oversized shirt i didn't want that so i didn't buy a thing which is probably good because i don't think i was like in love with anything and that's what i'm gonna start doing like well i've been like this for a really long time i don't buy things that i don't like absolutely love also i was not the person to always return stuff like that wasn't me all the time but i've gotten better with returning things and yeah so i'm proud that i know how to that i return stuff now because before honey your girl wasn't returning stuff okay i wasn't and then i will hold on to the stuff and be mad but i'm glad i got to get out and just see some things that were out there i realized again that i really do not like shopping in store uh most stores have more options online for cos the lady told me that they don't get everything that all the other stores get and she said she mentioned new york which i can totally see that she said here in atlanta they pretty much get like the last of the stuff which makes sense because those leather gloves that i purchased they never got them in store um and she said that most of the time the nicer things are really found online so they have like some leather jackets that i the leather jacket that i bought they didn't have it in store that's that full leather one that doesn't have any hardware and then they also have um this new crop one that's really nice the sleeves are really long they're just like really really nice so <sighs> i am ending the night here i was gonna take you guys to unwind with me but i'm tired <laughs> traffic will definitely have you rethinking life like seriously like it was it was actually backed up on the way to the city on the side where going towards my home right going home it was like literally the same thing so i'm not sure if something happened and i was out for a few hours so maybe there was like a huge accident and that's why the traffic was bad but it was like neck and neck like two miles per hour moving so but i'm gonna end this vlog here tonight thank you guys for tuning in it is your girl coco i want you guys to know that i appreciate you and you guys let me know how do you feel about vlogs and stuff i am gonna try to start adding in some cooking stuff i've said this before but i'm like it's really hard trying to cook in the kitchen and it's kind of dark so i may have to adjust and use I don't want to have to bring a light downstairs but i think i have an idea of what i can do as far as one of my lenses and start showing you guys some of the meals that i cook it's not a ton but i do stick to a very strict plant-based uh diet when i do cheat I, I always end up and when i say cheat it's something that i probably didn't cook or maybe it's like white rice or something uh and i, I always like feel like a little not Sick, but i'm on the toilet job <laughs> but i want to start showing you some of that and just letting you guys into my world a bit more i was looking for a vlogging tripod for my camera it's like i'm just gonna have to keep looking on youtube and see if some of like the other girlies have good tripods or if they are using like a gopro which i don't think they are because the gopro does give you like a different type of setup like well the view looks a little different 
uh but i don't know so i'm just gonna keep looking if you guys know anything definitely comment that below i would really really appreciate it something that's sturdy those suction cups to me they just don't last long especially with the heat they may last in like when it's cooler but once that heat hit it it's over like it's just like it's not coming off the car i mean it's coming off the car window so but i'm gonna unwind and i'm gonna just edit some videos and talk to you guys next week and Thank you guys for tuning in again. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style blog for tall women, Coco Styles NYC.com and my personal style services, Coco Styles NY.com. Guys, I do have digital downloads over there and this is for the girlies who work and trying to like build like a capsule wardrobe. It's spelled out really clear for you. Um, I do have things that are for women who travel like a quick what you need to pack for like a traveling work business trip. Uh, so things like that. I have a high low downloadable product as well, which that one is like the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do offer those things guys, but I thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you are subscribing to the channel and make sure you are commenting below. Coco, we see you if you stay to the end of this video. All right guys. Bye.